hello students welcome back to your grammar class students we are doing active and passive voice and in the previous video we learned what is the two kind of voice what are the two kinds of voice we also learned what is active voice passive voice and the five steps to be followed students today i will be doing some sentences with you so that all these things become clear to you so first let's begin with the present indefinite tense now students the passive verbs in present tense are made up of two main parts be plus past participle of the main verb the form of the verb be changes according to the subject and the tense this you have to remember now let's take an example i respect all elders now i is the subject here okay respect is the verb and elders is the object now when you change it to passive voice your answer will be all elders are respected by me now you have to follow a rule over here okay what is the rule subject plus is am are plus verb third form preposition and object okay so this is the rule to be followed now let's take the example of present continuous tense okay the rule for present continuous tense is in the passive voice subject is am are plus being plus third form of verb plus preposition and object let's take an example he is writing a letter now over here when you change it to passive you follow the rule you write your answer like this now what is your object over here a letter it will become the subject right a letter now letter take singular verb is is being now third form of write written use the preposition by him okay so this is how you do it in present continuous tense we use is am are plus being plus third form of verb preposition and at the end object now let's come to present perfect tense she has invited all her friends now in present perfect tense the rule which you are going to use is subject plus has have been plus first uh, third form of verb preposition and object okay so according to that what will be your answer you are talking about all her friends okay now your subject is all her friends all her friends now friends is plural so it will take have been now third form of the verb invite is invited by is the preposition by her is now the object so your answer is all her friends have been invited by her now when you change this let's come to negative sentences okay present tense simple present she does not love you now over here when you change it to passive voice you have to remember that there is a word not so what will be the rule subject plus is am are not plus first third form of verb preposition and object so she does not love you will change to you are not third form of love is loved preposition by her you are not loved by her now let's do negative sentence in present continuous tense mother is not making tea at present now remember you have to use present continuous tense rule passive voice and not also so what will be the rule subject plus is am are plus not being plus third form of verb preposition followed by object so mother is not making tea at present will change to tea is not being made at present by mother okay next perfect tense she has not stolen my pen now she has not stolen my pen the passive will be subject plus has have not been plus third form of verb preposition plus object so your answer will be my pen has not been stolen by her okay so you have to go according to the rule now let's come to the interrogatives now children please remember now in active voice the interrogative present tense starts with do does okay do you like her 
सो एक्टिव वॉइस रूल इज डू डज प्लस सब्जेक्ट वर्ब फर्स्ट फॉर्म ऑफ वर्ब एंड ऑब्जेक्ट नाउ वेन यू चेंज इट टू पैसेव डू डज चेंजेस टू इज एम आर ओके नाउ यू हैव टू सी इफ द सिंग इफ द सब्जेक्ट इज सिंगुलर यू विल यूज इज इफ द सब्जेक्ट इज प्लूरल यू विल यूज आर सो डू यू लाइक हर वेन यू चेंज इट टू पैसे विल चेंज टू इज शी लाइक्ड बाई यू वॉट इज रूल फॉर दैट इज एम आर प्लस सब्जेक्ट प्लस थर्ड फॉर्म ऑफ वर्ब प्लस प्रेपोजिशन प्लस ऑब्जेक्ट ओके ना लेट्स टू द इंटेरिगेटिव सेंटेंस प्रेजेंट कंटिन्यूस टेंस आर दे फ्लाइंग काइट्स ना योर सेंटेंस इज बिगिनिंग विद आर सो इन प्रेजेंट कंटिन्यूस टेंस योर आंसर ऑल्सो विल बिगिन फ्रॉम इज एम आर ओनली राइट ना काइट्स इज प्लूरल सो वेन यू चेंज इट टू पैसिव यू हैव टू यूज आर ओके आर काइट्स बींग थर्ड फॉर्म ऑफ वर्ब फ्लाई फ्लोन बाय दैम सो वॉट इज अ रूल इज एम आर प्लस सब्जेक्ट प्लस बींग प्लस थर्ड फॉर्म ऑफ वर्ब प्रेपोजिशन प्लस ऑब्जेक्ट सो आर दे फ्लाइंग काइट्स चेंजेस टू आर काइट्स बींग फ्लोन बाय दैम नाउ लेट्स टॉक अबाउट पासिव वॉइस प्रेजेंट परफेक्ट टेंस इंटेरोगेटिव ओके Have you won the first prize? Now see children, your active voice sentence starts with has have plus subject verb third form and object. Now when you change it to passive, it will become has have plus subject been plus third form of verb preposition plus object. So have you won the first prize? Will change to has the first prize been won by you? Now since children see you are talking about first prize. It is singular. so for this you have to use has has the first prize been won by you you have to take keep certain things in mind singular plural the tense okay these two things are very important to take care of now let's see negative interrogators okay does he not help you see it is interrogative as well also and negative also now when you change this to passive you have to apply the rule is am are plus subject plus not plus third form of verb preposition plus object children please do remember the rule should be correct now does he not help you is the sentence in active voice and when you change it to passive it will become are you not helped by him okay is am are plus subject not plus first form third form of verb plus preposition and object now let's do another sentence present continuous tense okay is that is the noise not disturbing the old man now this is active voice now when you change it to passive you have to apply the rule is am are plus subject plus not being plus third form of verb plus preposition plus object so your answer will be is the old man not being disturbed by the noise okay now present perfect tense negative interrogative has he not stolen your watch now what will you do here you will apply the rule has have plus subject plus not been plus third form of verb plus preposition plus object so your answer will be has your watch not been stolen by him okay has is your verb now subject is your watch you have to use not been then third form of verb stolen by him so children this was present tense tomorrow we will be doing past tense and future tense i hope you understood well go through the rules again follow properly and try to do the assignment that we are sending to you thank you